Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Please ignore the mess in the background. I have literally just come back from Comic Con and unpacked all my stuff that I bought, which includes these amazing cushions with some of the evolutions on them, and now I need the rest. Um, but they only had those three. Um, but Fairy Loot turned up whilst I was running around dressed as Sheila the Thief from Dungeons and Dragons, the old like 1980s cartoon. Um, it was a great weekend. I read loads of books in the evening, so I'm really glad that this turned up because my reading list was dwindling. Oh my god, this is really stiff to get into. Okay, well, let's go. What is that like? So fun. Let's have a little peek. Um, I don't remember the theme. Scholarly secrets. I know it was something school ish, educational, academic. All right, let's just crack straight into it. We have got a glasses case, I can only assume. Yes, that's actually really well made. Oh, look at that. I don't wear glasses yet. Probably should. I'll keep hold of that. What is oh this oh this feels soft. This is a cushion cover, isn't it? Yes it is. We have a cushion cover. Which I don't need because I've now got loads of cushions. And this is the Atlas 6. Never read it. Probably gonna put this on eBay or find a friend that has read it. Anyway, that's really soft and really nice though. We have got another fake book, I assume. Yay, yes. Um, these are, for me, becoming far too frequent. This is the lessons on the classical arts. I don't use them. They are nice. I don't know what I would use them for. Do I need a third one when one and two are sitting on a bookshelf somewhere empty? Not really. Like, I don't have that many things that I need to hide on a bookshelf, I will be honest. Um, it's a nice idea, I suppose, for people that have only just picked up the subscription and haven't had the previous two. But it just feels like we got the last one not all that long ago as well. Maybe like once a year would be nice, but make it the same distance of time between each of them. I don't know. They just they seem way too frequent. We have got a drowning in study pin. I really liked this book. This was such a good book. I will love you to ruination. Oh, that's so shiny. Can't read. Really, um, there's no way I'm able to show you off. I really love the book. It was such a good book. Um, and the twists. Oh my god. Okay, what have we got here? Dark Academia book tabs. I don't tab my books. This is overall not turning out to be a great box for me. But it happens. And they're quite nice though. I might take them to work. Not that I really use tabs at work either, but they are nice. Um, so I'll, I'll keep them around. Oh my god. Okay, that's the book. We have got... Let's just put that out of the way. We've got some tarot cards. I feel like these are going to be characters from the book based on the last couple of months' trends. Um, where they have been characters from the book and I've spoiled my them for myself. No, I'm not going to do the card right now. Alright, let's look at the book. Ooh, we have got some dusty red edges. That's the little thing and the thing. There's no art card. That's just the art card? Okay. Alright. Oh yeah, because the letters are inbound. Okay, let's have a look. We have got... The Temptation of Magic by Megan Scott. I really butchered magic then. Oh wow, look at those edges. Okay. I'm loving the gold on the red. On the back we've got, he was an imperial, her greatest threat and greatest fascination. Everything she'd been warned against and yet she wanted him still. And then these are the sprayed edges. They're pretty cool, right? Kind of like fiery marble effect. Oh, ooh, okay, we have a reversible cover. And I'm not overly keen on that, but kind of nice. Definitely think I prefer the plain cover. And then we have got some foiling. We've got it on the front, and then we've got it on the back. 
Oh, wow, it's spoiling on this as well. Oh, that's nice. That is really nice. Okay, so here's the front and here's the back. I'm loving the foiling. I do kind of wish... Oh, no, they have. They have. Okay, just didn't really show it that well. There is foiling on the books on the back as well. Okay, let's find out what this is about because this is not a book that was on my radar and not one that I've had spoiled for me, thankfully. It's always like a bad day when you log into Instagram and the first thing on your newsfeed is, this is going to be the next month's Illumicrate or the next month's Fairy Loot. And I'm like, I don't even follow you. Why? Why Instagram? Would you recommend these accounts to me that's spoiling the books? But there we go my own fault for posting about books and having the algorithm pick it up so as an imperial nicole has the ability to kill any deadly supernatural but if her power ever awakened the wake the organization that governs supernaturals would force her to be their loyal huntress or kill her like they did her mother to stay safe nicole hides in a small university town convinced the mythological art collection at a local manor contains a final message from her mother but before she can study it Kian Makata, the wake's most skilled imperial, arrives on his un own hunt. I really can't speak today because I've had no sleep. Mm. I don't recommend staying in the good hotel, by the way, if you ever go to Comic-Con. The walls are paper thin. And there's a bar on top of the hotel. Anyway, when Nicole and Kian discover that Kian's prey has stolen the painting for leverage, they're forced to work together. As the creature threatens to expose Nicole's powers, her tenuous alliance with Kian threatens her heart. If her true identity is revealed, Kian will hunt her next. No one disobeys the wake and survives, especially when the art they're seeking unveils a conspiracy that would change the lives of creatures and humans forever. But Nicole may only be able to resist one, her wicked impulses, or a love that could repaint her world. After a life of hiding her true nature, who could resist the temptation of magic? Alright, we got a forbidden romance book. That's fine, I guess. I'm not much of a romance fan, but I'm sure it'll be interesting. Megan Scott is a romance and fantasy writer from the northwest of England, a lover of art and the ancient world. She studied art history and classical civilization in the historic seaside university town of St Andrews before completing a Master of Research on the same subjects, both of which heavily inspire her novels. When she's not writing on Pinterest, she's trying to read as much as her nana or paint one of her favourite old masterpieces. This is going to be interesting. Um... It doesn't really sound like my cup of tea, um, just because it sounds a bit romance heavy, but it could be wrong. Um, I know there are other books that have sounded less romance heavy and then have been really bad in terms of romance. And there's some that have been really like action sounding heavy and then have just been nothing but romance. So I try not to judge a book until I've read it. Um, it does sound interesting as long as it focuses on equal amounts of the romance and like the hunting and the mystery solving um we will see but let's have a read of the letter dear fairy loot reader this book and these characters have lived in my mind and in some iteration of this novel for over 12 years nicole has seen me through those early teenage years multiple universities long years trying to get a literary agent and right up until my late 20s when the stars finally seemed to align i am so tired i literally had to pause before i read universities because i was like does that say universes no it's universities also my eye is a little bit swollen <laughs> so, <laughs> so this is a good day maybe i should have left it until tomorrow but i didn't this was the book i was desperate for as a teenager Full of steamy romance, of luxury, of mythological paintings, and the twists and turns of an art historical conspiracy. But most importantly, it's a book about family, love, and trying to understand impulses, but often told can be too much, too mature, too protective. Nicole. Oh my God. <laughs> Just seeing a little paw like hook around the door. Nicole is all of those things because I was so desperate to see someone explore these elements and come out stronger. Someone who could fight her way out of anything with her heart, her mind and her body. And who learned that it was okay to transform along the way by accepting who you really are and what you really want. I hope you love Nicole, Kian and the entire cast and that they begin to feel as real to you as they do to me. Hopefully I'll see you in approximately a year and a day for book two. Okay, so it's a series or at least a duology. Um, this sounds like it might be a book that I should not 
take to work and read on my lunch hours because sometimes people read my pages over my shoulders and uh if this has got steamy romance in it i don't want that happening we'll see i have an operation at the end of the week so maybe i'll take the book there and read it when i'm done anyway let's find out about the items so the cushion cover is designed by avondale art this beautifully designed cushion cover features six ambitious magical academics from the atlas six by olivia blake the secret book is designed by chatty nora is the fourth and final yes okay so i've missed one is the fourth and final tome in this collection of secret book series yay i'm still hoping they're gonna do a tea series to go with like all the mugs and stuff and the tea strainers that we keep getting from them that would be really good could you imagine they're building up for it they've given us tea boxes and strainers and mugs anyway the enamel pin is designed by Layla underscore ashtar underscore shrine featuring a design inspired by a study in drowning by ava reed this pen i tried to say pin but also tried to skip to perfectly this pin perfectly captures the nostalgic charm of age-old typewriters. The glasses case is designed by Julie.Reinhardt underscore. Um, it is inspired by a temptation of magic. Where's it gone? Yeah, okay, I can see that. It's got skulls on it, so maybe it'd be a bit more interesting than I actually originally thought. Um, the Dark Academia page tabs are designed by Little Forest cat underscore that is such a cute handle oh my god mark your favorite scenes or quotes with these handy page tabs featuring some classic dark academia motifs so it's just like a neutral item the tarot cards i was right they are from the book it is nicole as the sons three of sons and kian as the four of sons inspired by the book and then the book this month is the exclusive edition has a redesigned cover, a reversible dust jacket with artwork by Polarts underscore. Full design on the hardcover by No One Designs. Digital sprayed edges with a solid top and bottom edge. Forward end papers with a different art on the front and back. Also by Polarts underscore. Bonus content, a digital signature and an author letter found into the book. I've noticed we're getting a lot of digital signatures lately. Not that I'm opposed, but... I don't, I don't know where I was going with that. I just feel like... I feel like an actual signature is nicer and also means that when, like, these authors visit Comic-Con, I'm not dragging a million and one books up to be signed because I don't like digital signatures and I think it's nicer to have an actual signature. That's just me. Um. Oh, wow, they've changed the scribe. It looks a lot nicer and less noisy, if that makes sense. Anyway, next month is Decadent Desires. Get ready to be swept away by opulent treasures and lavish surprises as we unveil a world of decadence fit for the most discerning book lovers. In this box, we will have items inspired by Poison Study, A Court of Thorns and Roses, The Crimson Moth, ooh, Shatter Me, and our featured book of the month. We're excited to reveal that this box will also include our next set of foil character bookmarks and a useful item we've never done before. Ooh, okay. Our featured book of the month follows a main character who is one step away from obtaining her wildest dreams and desires. But what happens when a young, handsome stranger stands in her way? This story is filled with cunning schemes and treachery amidst a backdrop of splendor. The exclusive edition will have an exclusive cover colorway, reverse jacket, <laughs> reverse dust jacket artwork. Why? Why can I not say reverse dust jacket, but I could do the alliteration of exclusive colour colour coverway and now I can't. It's just going really well for me today. A design with foil on the hardcover, artwork on the end papers with foil, different front and back, and bonus content. This edition will have an author letter with a digital signature bound into the book. That is it. It is done. Not the best box I've had. Probably not the worst i don't think this is the worst um there is a lot of things here that i will not care for or use um the book is nice the glasses cases are nice um but i don't wear glasses so kind of 
irrelevant for me at this moment in time but I am going to keep hold of that because I probably do need them at some point so it would be nice to have a case to hand um I'm so glad that this is the final mystery book box secret book thing whatever it's called um yeah it's it's a nice box I can definitely see how some people would really really love this but for me it's just kind of average um there have been better boxes and it is what it is that's the, that's the downside to having a mystery box um and for going for the full box rather than the book only i used to have the book only um i don't think i would change back to book only i will be honest like some of the junk that you get yeah it's not great but you can just put it on ebay or chuck it in a charity box um some of the stuff that you do get from these boxes though i have absolutely loved and adored and used them so much um so it's just it's the it's the pros and cons of a loot box um i'm looking forward to reading the book because i love books anyway i'm hoping it's not as romancy as it sounds not that i read mine but if there's action packed into it which hopefully it sounds like there will be um fingers crossed i will as always post a review on my website contained in the links below um once i've finished my current book i started i am flame over the weekend yay um i'll get through that quite quick so don't worry this will come out sooner um if you like this video please subscribe or drop a like just drop a like for the evolutions if anything else because they are cute i'm gonna show these off now because they're reversible um i didn't realize that the evolutions have different names in japanese i thought it was kind of like evie where it's eve way but they have these cute little pictures on the back as well. They're so pretty. Um, oh, they're so Flareon is booster. Vaporeon is showers. Look. And Vapor <laughs> on is thunders. <laughs> but just look how cute they are. I want to get all of them. Um, I need the Eevee one, and they've basically done them for all of them. I'm a bit concerned about what. Umbreon is called in Japanese. I'm not going to go into that because I don't want to get banned from YouTube. So maybe if I get the Umbreon one, I'm going to use the flower side for that. Um, but yeah, um, sorry for the tangent at the end there. I will see you for the next video. Thank you for watching. Um, I'm going to go to bed now because I'm really tired. <laughs> Bye.